Well, we have got some creatures from under the sea uh, in the studio here. We're getting ready to celebrate the opening of the Sea Life Aquarium, this huge aquarium up at Great Lakes Crossing. It's going to be cool, but first we'll show you uh, some of the smaller creatures. Under the sea. Okay. There's a lot of excitement building for Sea Life Michigan. This is a new exhibit. It's getting ready to open at Great Lakes Crossing Mall, which is in Auburn Hills. So joining me this morning is Sea Life curator Lucy Handel, and she has brought some friends along. So Lucy, welcome. Hi. And you will notice Lucy's beautiful accent because you actually have, uh, there's a Sea Life in England as well, right? There is. This is actually our seventh sea life in the United States. Um, we have uh, several across the globe and quite a few in the UK as well. So I've come across to uh, to give you guys a hand. And what is the goal of sea life besides just for entertainment purposes? I mean, there's an education aspect to this too, right? Absolutely. It's really fundamental for us to educate people. Our approach is breed, rescue, protect, and all of our animals serve a purpose. So it's great for people to come and enjoy the animals, but we want people to always learn something and really get passionate about the environment and conservation as well and it's really important to us across all our centers okay so breed rescue protect and is that are you the sea life rescue animals or you want us to learn about the animals and help with rescue efforts what does that mean it's a bit of both really we do rescue a lot of animals for instance in our UK sites we have a lot of seal rescues um, bird rescues so sometimes it's not just marine animals um, we are affiliated with some zoos in the UK as well so we do a lot of animal rescues okay. um, here in Michigan we're gonna have a big great Lakes section as well so we can educate people about the animals that they'll find in the Great Lakes around them and hopefully um, educate them to, to conserve those areas so we don't need to rescue the animals. Right, makes sense. Okay, who did you bring with you today? I have some really cool <coughs> stuff with me. So one of the great things about the centre is we have an interactive rock pool where the kids can and the adults can really get involved and get hands on with some of our creatures. Hands on? So here right. we have some great stuff. So these are urchins. Um, these are pincushion urchins. And this is this one cool one here is one of my favorites. This is a pencil urchin. Now you're and allowed to touch them? You are allowed to touch them, which is really great. And it's great for the kids because they're getting really immersed in the education and they're learning loads without even realizing that it's, that so it's learning. So this is actually moving, right? Yeah, so these are all of their, their feet. And these are all used for um, locomotion, so to move them along. And they're actually called pencil urchins because years ago people used to use these spines to write with as, as pencils and really? that's where they get their name from. So where would you find these? These are all um, tropical marine animals. So places like the Red Sea, Indo-Pacific, nice warm tropical places. Okay. Um, you find these in inter uh, tidal pools. So where the water's coming in and out of rock pools. You might see them on the beach if you're going rock pooling with your nets and stuff like that. All right. It's the same with the sea stars. Um, we have some cool ones here, and as you can see from the two, they come in lots of shapes and sizes. Now, um, when we see starfish, usually it, it seems like they're washed up and they're not living anymore, right? Yeah. So how do you, do you see movement on the you back do. side? Or? So I'm just going to flip this one over for you. And all of these bits Let's here, see. let me just see if it's easier on this guy here. Um, but you can see lots of little tube feet. Okay. Um, oh yeah. If I bring them out, they're just moving. Oh yeah. Out. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that on camera. You see, the, are these a little feet? Yes. Yeah, so you're welcome coming to just out. give it a little stroke, just yeah. like the kids can if they come in, and to see how it feels. So they're quite soft, and then the little tube feet, and they'll use those for moving as well and passing food up to their mouths, which is just that bit in the middle there. Really. Um, so really like multifunctional, and they really are this just guy's incredible animals. This coming over animals. and getting in our camera shot. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to be a superstar already. Now, what we, can we touch these? You can touch these. So these are pincushion urchins. What do you do? do? Can I reach in? Yeah, just um, mm -hmm. just sort of carefully just pick it up on the side, and if you does it turn bite? it over, no, it won't Does it bite have you. a mouth? <laughs> it does have a mouth. If you kind do of I keep turn it, it over, part in the water? I don't yeah, know. it's a bit easier to keep it past in the water, but you can see okay. here. I don't know if the camera can see, but it's just sort of starting to move all of its spines there. Okay. And this is what it will use to move along, and also again, like the sea star, to pass food into its mouth, um, into its vascular system. And that mouth is right there in the middle. Yeah, they have a really um, incredible system. They have water throwing, flowing throughout all of their body, and that's wow. how they use for gas exchange. There's a and lot then, going on uh, <laughs> below the surface, isn't there? There is, <laughs> and there's just so much to learn about. And I mean, yes. the amount of stuff that you can get from these creatures, and then we'll have our sharks and our stingrays and seahorses. So there's oh, it's loads of beautiful. To learn about. Okay, so it's a thirty-five. 
5,000 square foot aquarium opening Great Lakes Crossing on January 29th. That's the grand opening. What are the prices? Do you know? Do you we, have memorized? We have a special pre-opening rate at the minute. So if you go online to um, visit sealife.com forward slash Michigan, okay. and you can get a, a special pre-rate of $17.50. Okay. Um, and we also have a really great rate on annual passes at the minute. So if you buy an annual pass, you have unlimited visits the whole year, oh, nice. which is great if you have a family. Um, and Wait, Thomas, you want to get in on this? And it also means that you don't have I to. Do. Hi. Let's yeah, see, this feel is free. Is, so, um, is Patrick is upside down there? I know. Yeah, we got to flip Patrick so over. So if you yeah. see that his, his <laughs> arms well. are going like that, and then, they, then, then they can actually flip I themselves over. See those little, what do you call them, Ten tentacles? With the They're little, little tube feet. or tube um, feet. Some people call them arms, but they do mm -hmm. look like tentacles, and you can see on the pincushion actions. Here, Lee, why, why don't right you out. hold this one? No, wait, I'm going to ease into it, Dina. Come on. Give me your hand. Just touch it and just pick it up. You're not scared, are you? No, I'm not scared. What are you talking about? Oh, wow. There you go. It's, no, it's got a little solid. drip on the bottom. I don't know what that drip is. So, so tell me where the mouth is again. So if you turn him over like this. Ah. So it's just all there. And you see that all his um, arms are pointing in towards the mouth. And oh, that's look, how they move all the food. Just a little bit. It's yeah, cool stuff. Cool. Cool. Thanks cool. for coming in Thank and bringing on our sea life. to meet you both. So um, good luck on opening day. Thank you. I hope to see you there. Yes. It's going to be exciting. All right. And we'll put information on sea life on our website, too, so you can get those discounted tickets. That's awesome. Also awesome, the Consumer Electronics Show going on right now in Vegas today is the start. Steve Noviello is there. We will talk to him coming up live.